and welcome to the Girl Scouts of Northern Illinois 2020 Girl Recognition Gala. We are here to recognize and celebrate the accomplishments of our 16 Gold Award Girl Scouts, our 2020 scholarship recipients, and those Girl Scouts who have worked to earn their Silver or Bronze Award within the last year. Combined, our Gold, Silver, and Bronze Award Girl Scouts contributed over 8,900 hours of take action in their community. But we also know that this doesn't happen alone, and we would like to recognize and thank the many volunteers who share their time, talents, and guidance as they work to help mentor and encourage our Girl Scouts in achieving these highest awards. So to begin, let's start with the Girl Scout Promise and Law. Our Gold Award Girl Scouts will be spread throughout today's celebration and we'll be hearing from two guests who have sent their congratulatory messages to them. And so, without further ado, let's start our 2020 Girl Recognition Gala. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and I do. And to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Hello, Girl Scouts. It's Sylvia Acevedo, CEO of Girl Scouts of the USA. I'm excited to say congratulations to all this year's Gold Award Girl Scouts. Today, you have joined a very special group of Girl Scouts by earning the Gold Award, a Girl Scout's greatest achievement and the capstone of the Girl Scout leadership experience. I'm so proud of all the incredible work you've done. You've tackled issues that are important to you to drive meaningful and lasting change in your communities and beyond. Leaving a true legacy, you have provided sustainable solutions to a grand challenge in your community. Now, your path to this moment was not easy, and I'm sure you experienced setbacks and unforeseen challenges along the way. In true Girl Scout fashion, you didn't give up. You confronted the obstacles you faced, flexed your leadership muscles, and made the world a better place in the process. In earning your Gold Award, all of you have gained the experience and life skills that put you on a path of success in college and life. Skills like strategic thinking, communication, collaboration, problem solving, and time management. You are the leader society needs. The Girl Scout Gold Award is the mark of the truly remarkable. Proof that not only you can make a difference, but you already have. This is such a significant achievement and you all should feel very proud. I want to also thank all the parents and volunteers whose invaluable guidance help you reach your goal. You are truly making a positive impact in the lives of girls, championing, mentoring, and inspiring them to be the leaders and change makers the world needs. Your support is so important. It allows girls to understand what they're capable of so that they can put their ideas into action and truly reach for the stars. I want all the new Gold Award Girl Scouts to take this moment in and enjoy it. Whenever you face challenges in life that seem too overwhelming, just remember this accomplishment and know that you have the courage, the confidence and character to overcome any obstacles in your way. You brought your vision to life and achieved an incredible milestone in your leadership journey. We can't wait to see what you'll accomplish next. Thank you and enjoy celebrating this remarkable accomplishment. Congratulations! Hey everybody, it's Lauren Underwood. Just wanted to congratulate you on earning your gold award. I remember when I finished mine and you know, there wasn't as much going on in the world or in our country, but I felt like I could change 
our community, I could change our world, and that was really motivating for me. Think about all that's going on in our world today. And with the same level of commitment that you displayed to your gold award, let's bring that same energy and making a difference in our communities. I know that our world is a better place because of your leadership. And um, know that your extended Girl Scout community is here to support you. Even if your gold award advisor moves on to somebody new. Uh, I remember my advisor, Miss Camille, and how much of a help she was to me. And um, I promise you that there's gonna be a network of support for you as you identify this next challenge and hurdle that you wanna tackle. Congratulations again, and I'll see you soon. Maya identifies communication as a vital part of life. Maya states, Communication can be found from where we grow up and how we interact with people around us to a global standpoint where countries are communicating with each other to perform. Many times misunderstandings become big problems due to lack of communication. Maya identified the stressful atmosphere students find themselves in when clicks develop along with the lack of communication and understanding students often have for peers outside their groups. She wanted to break down those barriers and introduce a safe space for students to escape the exclusive environment and communicate with people they might not have talked to in an everyday scenario. Her solution, a ping pong club. In leading her team of faculty, administrators, and students, Maya established an executive board to create guidelines and set goals for the club. The executive board also promoted the club to other students and posted information on their social media accounts. This inspired students to join the club and introduced a theme of inclusivity and communication to potential members. The Ping Pong Club is now an established club at Harry D. Jacobs High School the executive board will continue to work with the club's sponsor, a faculty member, to ensure members are active and engaged, leading to club sustainability and growth. Angela's Gold Award project focused on the social and emotional needs of children suffering from child abuse and neglect. Research shows child abuse can alter brain and body functions resulting in mental illnesses and physical effects. She found many negative outcomes are less severe or avoided when a child is provided with social emotional aid and community support. Leading a community team, Angela developed care packages including items of comfort, friendship building, and entertainment for children experiencing homelessness or fleeing for safer environments. Each package contained a Pasadon coin for children to share with others as a reminder that they are not alone. Angela states, some children struggle with relating to other kids. These care packages included opportunities for a friend connection to happen. The opportunity to do a kind deed for someone else provides a sense of control over their own life situations. Project beneficiaries Home of the Sparrow and Turning Point will carry on addressing the needs of these children through continued use of the Pass It On coin. Gabrielle worked with Who Haven Wildlife Rehabilitation and Education Center to create an updated workspace for the nonprofit staff and volunteers. Who Haven is dedicated to rehabilitating and releasing sick injured and orphaned North American wildlife. Her project provided an efficient and functional workspace and opened extra room for more animals to be housed. This new workspace gives volunteers added space to prepare food for animals and can now accommodate volunteers who needed workspace adaptations. Gabrielle and her team also created two videos to help the center. One will be used for educational purposes with school groups, for open houses, and on the center's website. The second video highlighted Who Havens Forever Animals. 
The center's director and volunteers will maintain the newly designed workspace and use the videos to continue raising awareness and support for Who Haven's animal-friendly mission. Hello, my name is Paige. I'm in Troop 1865. The goal of my Golden World project, harvesting for monarch waste stations, was to increase the amount of milkweed plants in our local nature preserves and in our community. Planting the milkweed to create monarch waste stations, which could be described as roadside rest areas, provides food and breeding habitats for the monarch butterflies and other pollinator populations in our hemisphere during their migration. Monarch numbers have been steadily decreasing due to habitat destruction. According to the Field Museum Keller Science Action Center, the populations have declined 80% in the last two decades. Monarch migration takes place over generations and the way stations provide food and breeding habitats for monarch butterflies on their journey. Milkweed plants are the sole food source for monarch caterpillars. Due to the development of land and the use of herbicides in farmland and roadsides, milkweed and nectar sources have declined dramatically, destroying this habitat for the butterflies. Not only do waste stations provide for the monarchs, but they establish native plant habitats and improve the ecosystem. I planned a milkweed harvest and distributed seeds to the community. With the help of volunteers, I collected, harvested, processed, and provided hundreds of seed packets to the community. I also hosted a fundraiser for supplies for seed collecting, requesting donations of gloves, tools, special jars, and lids, and shelves, all housed at the preserve shed. To educate others about the plight of the butterfly, I presented about the importance of milkweed and monarchs and native habitats at community events, such as the EO Library, Girl Scout Troops, Rehabilitation Centers, Oktoberfest, and local clubs. I distributed seed packets with planting instructions. I also planted the milkweed with several groups and troops. To me, being a Girl Scout means being a global citizen that cares about others and the surrounding community and strives to make the world a better place. I would also like to thank Barrington Area Conservation Trust for providing this amazing opportunity. believes in environmental conservation and knows steps to reduce waste lead to a global impact. Identifying a lack of recycling in her school, she implemented a recycling program. Abigail states, by reducing waste produced in my school, I reduce potential pollution in my own community while educating others to be environmentally responsible. Abigail's team identified a student population of 2,582, all completing paper assignments and eating lunch daily. The team used paper ream boxes as recycling bins. By the end of the year, recycling was being collected from 32 classrooms and all teacher offices. Almost 300 cubic feet of recycling was redirected from Landfills Weekly. The project included a partnership with the school's special needs classes. These students were offered an experience to apply sorting skills in a real life application as valuable practice for a future career. Both the environmental club and transition classes at South Elgin High School have agreed to continue this program for the future. Katrina's project addressed the lack of educational resources for biliterate students trying to learn Spanish and English. Katrina states, when students have resources to learn another language, they're practicing cognitive skills, learning how to better communicate, 
and becoming more culturally aware. Katrina assembled a team that created kindergarten through second grade educational game bags that taught colors, shapes, weather, names of clothing, and school supplies in both English and Spanish. Katrina used these as she visited schools, preschools, and community locations. Katrina said, I wanted to create connections with teachers and students and give them the drive to learn more about different languages. The kids had fun and learned something new. Katrina's team created Knowledge is Power murals for Wayne Township Resource Center and Elizabeth Ide School in a variety of languages. This project will be sustained by Elizabeth Ide School, Ronald O'Neill Elementary, and the preschools. Brittany noticed a well-used street corner in her hometown had become overgrown with large bushes. The corner had become a driving hazard and the overgrowth covered a community sign used to announce upcoming special events. Brittany states, not only was it unsafe, but it did not accurately represent our community and I wanted to fix that. Brittany's team worked with the Village of Bartlett and the Bartlett Lions Club to redesign the garden area around the sign at the corner of Devon Avenue and South Bartlett Road. As part of her project, she planted pollinators in hopes of bringing more butterflies, bees, and other pollinators to the area. She also registered her completed project with the U.S. government's Million Pollinator Garden Challenge. In the garden, she included a QR code behind the sign so visitors can learn the benefits of pollinators and how important they are to the community. The Village of Bartlett will maintain this garden. Tristan's passion for her gold award began with the Sato Project, whose mission is to save the large number of stray dogs inhibiting Dead Dog Beach in Puerto Rico. She expanded her project to address the overpopulation of stray dogs in the world, working to educate others about the importance of spaying and neutering animals. Tristan's team included Rotary Club members, a veterinarian, several teachers, a dog rescue advisor, and students. She coached team members for two large community events to raise awareness of the project and encourage community members to support the cause by purchasing a specially designed t-shirt or bracelet. The team's efforts raised nearly $350, which was used to purchase items needed by the Sato Project for the training and lifestyle of shelter animals. Tristan's project will be carried forward by the newly formed St. Charles East High School Club, Saints Helping Animals.
sophomore at Georgia Tech from Campton Hills. I'm a Juliet, which just means I'm a Girl Scout with no specific troop. My Gold Award project is titled Stress Relief Kits. For this project, I contacted schools in my area and offered them kits I had assembled through donation drives, which included various stress relief items like fidgets, coloring pages, weighted blankets, and documents with information about mental health. Schools could then give these kits to counselors or interested teachers as a resource for students who might be struggling to make it through the school day. This was a close and personal project for me, as I myself struggle with mental health issues that manifest especially strongly in academic settings and had a lot of peers who expressed similar concerns. I often needed a moment to step out of the classroom and compose myself. These kits were a way to help others in that type of situation, to give them support and a way to direct their energy away from whatever might be causing them stress. The work was daunting at times, but if you're a Girl Scout considering undertaking a Gold Award project, I cannot express how much I encourage you to go for it. Find something you're passionate about, and I know you'll be able to do something you're proud of. I'm so glad I got a chance to finish this project, and to be a Girl Scout for all these years. It's given me so many opportunities to meet new people, learn new things, and give back to the world. My name is Elizabeth and I'm a part of 24697. My Gold Award project was Taste of Yorkville Culture Matters. About two years ago, I was literally watching Netflix documentaries about different cultures around the world and it really inspired me to take a deep dive into my own culture. The feeling of knowing your ancestors and all their history was just so surreal to me. Plus, I was learning a lot about strong Hispanic women in history and it made me want to have an impact too. So this led me to meeting with school officials to start a multicultural fair. Our amazing host set up booths all around the school and over 500 people attended to learn about the different cultures we had represented. We had authors, there was a martial arts demo, and both of our school step teams were there to keep everybody learning. My best advice to anybody thinking about their gold award is to trust the process. There were genuinely so many moments that I didn't think I would be able to pull it off, but because of the amazing people I had supporting me and the project, it was just 10 times better than I even expected. And I can guarantee you, it will feel amazing. Audrey identified that families with children who have special needs don't always feel welcome, especially in STEM activities. Her goal was to engage three to five of these students and their families in competitive STEM activities. Working with First Illinois, Audrey led a team of professionals, parents, and other robotic team members to create and mentor an inclusive group while preparing for a competition season and expo. Audrey states, by teaching kids at a young age to have an inclusive mindset, we are changing the future attitude of the broader community. Although the expo was postponed due to COVID-19, the team's model of a programmed elevator ranked at meets or exceeds the expectations in the competition rubric. Audrey's inclusive team helped both groups learn how to work together and communicate with kids who may think, act, or communicate differently. This inclusive team will be continued by the Youth STEM Education Foundation.
Hi, my name is Victoria. I'm from Troop 117, and my Gold Award project is called Science Class in a Box. I wanted to create Science Class in a Box in order to inspire students from low-income schools to get involved in STEM and science-related fields. To do this, I collected experimental materials and donated them to a low-income school in my community, and I also created YouTube videos and other resources in order to help teachers execute those experiments. I also hosted a demonstration for both students and teachers to help get the students excited about STEM and science-related fields. A piece of advice that I have for Girl Scouts who are thinking of doing their Gold Award is that starting is the hardest part. You want to make sure to surround yourself with people who you feel comfortable working with, who will keep you accountable, and who will respond quickly to emails. The beginnings of your project and figuring out all of the logistics and organizing the project is way more difficult than the actual execution of your project that you have envisioned in your mind since the beginning. is called Fish for Our Furry Friends. It's a pet supply charity that donates to the local fish food pantry in Carpentersville, and it addresses the problem of people facing poverty who may not be able to take care of their pets. And um, I'm glad to have been able to fill the shelves of the local uh, food pantry. Um, some advice I'd give to you is if you have a question, uh, be sure to ask as many people as possible. Uh, from all different walks of life, they'll be able to uh, find, give you a new perspective on your uh, project and help solve problems you may not be able to think, might not have been, might not have thought about. Um, and a cool thing about pursuing a gold award is that you're viewed as an equal to the leaders that you talk to. You're the one educating them on the project, and it, it's really, it's really cool to. Be in that kind of position and I hope you find success in your goal award. Thank you. Raquel's project began with a personal passion as she worked to raise awareness about a medical condition called alopecia. Alopecia causes hair loss on the scalp or body. It is not contagious and happens when the immune system attacks hair follicles. The stress of being bullied often makes the condition worse. Sadly, Raquel has alopecia and was bullied by her classmates. Raquel's project educated people about alopecia 
including how common it is and the importance of living a stress-free life, which can reduce its effects. With the help of her team, she organized a stress-less fair with presentations by various health professionals on dealing with stress. Approximately 40 people attended the event. Raquel's project will be sustained by six schools in both the Aurora West and East school districts that will continue to use her informational DVDs and YouTube video to continue educating others about alopecia. Hi, my name is Lorianne and I'm a part of Troop 558. The name of my Gold Award project is Paul Ninner Garden at the Beach and it focused on providing a habitat for bees and other endangered pollinators. As a kid, I always loved being outside with all the flowers and trees. So when I heard that key pollinator species were struggling, I knew I had to do something to help. I wanted to save the animals themselves and also all the things they gave us, like pretty flowers, fruits and vegetables, and a cleaner environment. Knowing that the world is becoming more industrialized also motivated me to create a space dedicated to pollinators that cannot be interfered with. For any Girl Scout thinking about doing their gold award, I highly recommend it. It's very empowering to make a lasting impact on your community, and knowing you're helping make the world a better place is an amazing feeling. Thank you. Shelby wanted to address the lack of school supplies for students dealing with financial hardship. She worked with District 300 administration, teachers, students, and local businesses to establish a carrying closet at Hampshire High School. Shelby's team determined how the closet could serve the most students, types of items it should contain, and how students could use the closet discreetly. Through community education and support, donations of school supplies began to accumulate. The team sorted and inventoried items every week. The team also built shelves in the closet to keep it organized and restocked. Shelby's project will continue thanks to participating schools, teachers, and students from two local clubs, both the National Honor Society and AVID, Advancement Via Individual Determination, both of these groups will host two donation drives a year to help keep the closet fully stocked. On behalf of all of us here at GSNI, we thank you for attending our event and helping us to recognize and celebrate this year's highest award recipients and 2020 scholarship recipients. Congratulations, Girl Scouts.